Well, so far she wants them. <laughs> There's five. Yes, you baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Oh my God, Mark's like, go get the fire extinguisher. Two heads. So I don't know what that's all about. That's a tail. I cannot do any more of these. What is your problem? Stop being so emotional. Oh, she's on mom. I don't really know who belongs to who. One, two, three, four, five lambs right here near this mum. One dead one makes six. There's no way you had six that size. So did a mum run away? These all do look alike. Oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. Get her done, ladies. Well, so far she wants them. <laughs> There's five. And there is a dead one down there, which makes six. I don't see anyone else that's lambed. Out of these ones, there is a black. There's one with a little black on its lid. And this one just had a single. Now it's a pretty big single for her, but I don't know. I don't know if maybe she had two, one earlier and it took off. I'm not sure. And there's lots of thirsty lambs this morning. I'm like, why are they so loud? I'm like, oh yeah, because I'm mum. So, better get on with the day, I suppose. I'm coming. We have a little, uh, it's front, front feeder a little rolled over and I have a, a little hack for that and it's worked in the past. I'm just gonna sort of splint them for a couple days just to sort of get them uh, a little stronger and build those ligaments, tendons, whatever, whatever makes it straight. So I'm going to do that right now. I think it has, come here, you're fasty, has been impeding, uh, just, I think him drinking much off mom too. So I just want to get it fixed here. I think we just need to be at the very bottom. So basically I'm just doing, I'm just putting on, um, these are cut rolls, uh, like uh, the cricket machine rolls, I believe that's what those are for. So I'm gonna put one in the one on top and one at the back. It's just cut in half sort of deal. Um, I'm gonna put some gauze on underneath so it's soft. There. Okay. It's two about the same. Yep. Okay, and I'll just splint. 
splint underneath, splint on top. All right, and then some vet wrap to hold it all in. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you hungry? Okay, so there's one all done. There. It shouldn't really impede how <laughs> how he walks, but there we go. And that should be fixed in a couple days. How do you like your new shoes? What do you think? Let's get that just. Let's get that just a little. What do you think? <laughs> okay, let's take this off. Oh, oh, oh. There's one right over there. We'll go get mom. It has been a really big day. I don't even really know where to start with you guys. I was filling up the composter using our telehandler and then Mark came home. He took Jess to another doctor's appointment today. Um, so he came out to talk to me about how it went and uh, I had the tractor just sitting there on idle and we heard this like pop and then the hydraulic fluids were just like pouring out of the bottom of the telehandler and then all I saw was smoke. I'm like, oh my God, Mark's like, go get the fire extinguisher. Anyways, uh, we grabbed all the water. We grabbed the ram's pails. Thank God I just filled them. Ran and grabbed the hose. So we got the fire out. It was way in underneath, like where the hydraulics are under the cab. So not sure what's going on there. We just got that telehandler back. It had a full service. So I'm so sad. I don't know what happened. Mark wonders if it was electrical that started the fire and then it melted the hydraulic hose. Anyway, so now we have to work on getting a rental and it's just not, it was not on the game plan for today. But finally had a little bit of good luck and that was, uh, we had our scan today. So Rex just left, you can tell everything's an absolute mess. And uh, so Willow is gonna be a mom, she's pregnant. Uh, actually, every single ewe lamb got bred except for one. So we only had one miss in this whole group. And then the mature ewes, I think there was like six, seven, eight, nine maybe that weren't pregnant. So we're gonna have lots of babies come June. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited that Will is gonna be a mom. Like so excited. That's the best news I've had in like so long that I almost started crying, but I didn't because Rex was here. Not that he hasn't probably seen that before. When Rex was looking over my sheep, he's like, oh, you got one in labor. I'm like, yep. He's like, meh, she'll lamb out in about a half an hour. And he was right, because she just lambed out in half an hour. Uh, no, you had your babies and you have no milk. Run along. Hey, no, not yours. Hi, buddy. Hi. Here's your baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> Why? But she was really uneasy with that lamb. So I put them both in a lambing pen and I actually pulled out a, pulled out a second. And that looks like that's all she's having, thank God. Good mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made the night check and uh, the two lambs that were just born here, I don't know, two hours ago now, uh, I came and gave them a bottle and mom had been licking them off and then she spit out a third, well I helped her spit out a third. And the third is a little Tunis. Not you. Hey buddy. We already found mom. And she's a she, so that really made our night. She's gorgeous. And everybody's fed and we are down to our last 10 so that is very exciting because we're getting really tired this mom is sad because I took her babies because she has no milk
Have you already landed? I think you've already. Have you already landed? Do you love her? You can have, you literally can have her. If you remember the you that had the blue prolapse harness, that's her. So I took that off like four days ago. I don't even remember. And she's just landing now. So I think that's hers, but she also could be just landing out her first one. I don't really know. And this mom is sticking around with these three. But that one looks awful a lot like those ones, so. I'm not sure. They're talking. I'm gonna leave those together while mom lambs out. And then, uh, yeah, we'll move these guys and then see what she does. She is definitely lambing. Well, oh, baby's staying with her. Unbelievable. Okay. We'll let them be. Literally two lambs, two heads were in her opening at the same time. And I just couldn't get this one out in time. Anyway, she has two, so that's good. And I think we have another mama lambing. And if she lambs this morning, that means we're down to seven, which is unbelievable. She did really good considering she prolapsed. That's amazing. Okay, I get to work, I gotta wash my hands. You guys, she is living. I walked away to wash my hands and I came back and I'm like, you're breathing. I don't know how all there she is. She's kind of keeps like looping her head back. So I don't know what that's all about. But she's trying. So we've taken the resuscitator, resuscitator to her. But I don't know. So we're gonna keep working on you. Yeah. I don't know. We will see. I'm gonna move that one you in here because she is pushing and there's nothing happening. That's a tail. Can barely get in her. Monster. Are you alive? Yeah. 
you have a heart. Eat. Yes, you do. Hey, don't forget to breathe. Hey. Hey. Are you coming? Well, we cannot revive number one, but I think she might be having another one. Yeah, you do have another one. Thank goodness. Maybe we can redeem this whole situation. And it's coming the right way. Come on, baby. Get the work with me here. I'm just gonna make sure the head's coming the right way. And it's not. Deliveries the last couple days have been absolutely nightmare. Plus. Baby. I cannot do any more of these. Oh, I'm done. I don't think I can count on one hand how many days I've really dreaded coming to work ever. I love work, I love what I do. But these last like six weeks have been so brutal. And this lambing group, I just, I had a just a gut feeling that it was gonna be just one for the record for just challenges. And I know people are like, what is your problem? Stop being so emotional. We are dealing with so much behind this camera that it's like, I wish I could actually talk about it so I might feel a little better, but not all of our family knows and definitely not all of our friends know. I'm really worried about my daughter and uh, I don't know how people do this balance like, hardships at work and hardships at home when it comes to like illness and health so I'm just this is my first time really navigating through this and I'm just I'm I'm just I'm glad there's only seven years left because it's been hard it's been really hard anyway I was able to tube this little one so hopefully she's got a fighting chance but Again, that's a rough start for these guys. And I talked to Rex yesterday. We had a good talk about like these animals with these slow starts. And he said, honestly, those ones, those are the ones that are better to stillborn because they were never gonna make it for whatever reason. And then you just end up blaming yourself. And I'm like, yeah. I've got everybody fed and dipped. I'm gonna maybe just reset the morning, go have a coffee. And I'm supposed to be editing a video this morning. I just don't think it's gonna happen. The YouTube thing's sort of taking a back seat. And uh, I think that makes me sad too because it's a big part of what I do. So I just feel like a little bit of a failure in a whole bunch of areas right now. Just have to shake it off. I'm not sure what is going on with Mother Nature right now. She must be having the same day as me because we went from like sunny skies, not sunny, but not, not, not nice, to like a blizzard in the last 20 minutes. Chris and I actually took some time this morning because we have not weighed any market lambs and it's Easter next weekend. So we knew uh, we better try to catch one of the markets anyway before Easter. So um, I'm hoping to get on the road yet this afternoon, but it's, it's like treacherous outside. You can't see 10 feet in front of you. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna tag some lambs this afternoon and uh, maybe head out around four or five if it's a little nicer out. It's crazy, the weather's insane. Some good news on the lambing front. That lamb that was like lifeless this morning has drank two bottles from me already today. Come here, say hi to everybody. Say hi, say hi, oh, my good baby. Yeah, so look at that. Can you believe that's the same lamb? Oh, you done so good, yes. I didn't think there was much upstairs, but she sort of came around. And she's so cute, you got all brown on you. And then mama's doing good with the other ones. So this one will likely be our bottle baby because it's, it's the best drinker out of all three. The only drinker out of all three. Oh, she's on mom. I cannot believe that. I needed that little win because this morning was rough.
Well, I just got finished rearranging the barn and doing what I wanted to get done this afternoon and getting ready to load up and head to the sales barn. And I noticed a you in labor, of course. I was here all day, all day. And you wait till right now to want to do this. Mum is uh, not fully dilated yet, so I'm going to leave her be, which is probably the worst decision of my life. Uh, and I'm going to load up lambs and uh, head out. And then hopefully maybe Mark or Jess can check on her. What do you got, Mom? Oh, darn it. Are you alive? One alive and one not alive. What a shock. So I've been watching my cameras safely at stop signs when I'm driving and Mark's been watching the cameras from the house. So this has just happened. This lamb is actually still warm. So she just spit these out. All right, well, I'm gonna move her and check her for another one and get this one fed. I'm trying not to be sad anymore for these stillborn lambs because it's out of my hands. I don't know what's going on. This is an older U. She's a 2017 model, so whether she may have a load more in there too. So let's get her moved and have a look see boo. Mama had another one. So we have a nice set of twins, so it ended up being okay. She's got two working teats, beautiful golden yellow colostrum. So uh, yeah, all is well in the neighborhood. Thank goodness. Good morning. It looks like we're down to five views now. I'm not really sure how keen they are on lambing anytime soon. It's still a little high and wide. But this is a nice set of three. <laughs> we're almost done. This is so exciting. I'm so happy. some emergency saves yesterday afternoon, didn't we? These two were going backwards. Okay. Yeah, this one refuses to drink off mom, believe it or not, and this one refuses to drink off the nanny. So now they're bottle babies. Hopefully not for long. We're just too tired to fight all those lambs yesterday, so I just brought them in here. I'm like, let's just feed them for a couple days, get them back on their feet. But they look like they're on their feet. And they slept right in front of the door last night, so I couldn't even open the front door. All right, I'll feed you guys, and then I'll feed those other babies. I have to say, this is the first day I've been able to catch my breath and do a few things that needed to be done mm, arguably a week ago. One of them is adding a creep area to my first group. So the first 45 that lambed, land pretty much in that first week which was easily two two and a half weeks ago i like to do it latest like 14 days which is two weeks however the later i have added it they get on it and they eat uh quite a bit more creep than you know when they're eight days or ten days old i just find they kind of nibble at it um i think most people try to get it into their lands by like 10 days but i'm lucky if i can get get it in by like day 14. Uh, I was talking to Mark at lunch. I am considering inducing those last five just so they're all bloomed up. They all look like they're real close. Like they're probably all gonna lamb in the next three or four days, but I'm like, 
Do I just make sure that they are gonna lamb in three or four days and just induce them? So I was thinking about that, so I may or may not do that. So I think I am gonna induce them. I typically don't induce because I'm not usually in a rush to be done. There is a reason and it's because we begin Jess's fairly aggressive medical journey on Monday and we have to go to Toronto. I think all these are gonna lamb easily by Sunday, but I just really need that to be the hard kind of finish. And that's why. So sometimes uh, we do have tools we can use just to speed up a process. My uh, tripod got run over, so I'm trying to use my little one. So we're getting creative here. That's it, yep. literally been 40 minutes you were doing nothing look at it it's perfect like amazing now there's only four and she's so or he is so healthy hey buddy so she has another one but it's down far enough in and it feels like a really big lamb that she spit that one out so good on her own the lamb's coming the right way I think I'm just gonna walk away and let her do her business. Uh, I'm gonna watch the camera here, just from the house. I think I'm gonna be more of a hindrance than any help, so I'm gonna let her do her business. She's an older you, she knows the scoop. Do not prove me wrong, as the rest of your neighbors like to do often. And just like that, we have one, two, just a second. Three babies, three big babies. You did that all by yourself. She gets a gold star. Maybe she's teaching me a lesson. Just stay away. Go home, watch from your camera. <laughs> Good girl. All right, I'm gonna bed them up, feed them up, and then call it a night for me because it's shift change in like half an hour. What are you doing? This girl's talking. And the girl at the back sort of separating herself out, so see what's here in the morning. <laughs>